Hello everyone, welcome back to Johnny's NASAC YouTube channel. In my previous video, I introduced uh, a list, a file index application for local and cloud storages. I was using Docker Run to deploy a list and showed you how to mount the local storages and Google Drive storages. I was using play with Docker to deploy it. So in this video, I'm gonna use a container to deploy it to your own VPS. And also I'm gonna show you how to deploy it in your Windows machine. At least it's really powerful software which can have many different type of usages which I can think about it. It can also use as a central management for all your cloud storage since you can mount multiple cloud storage into one central place. You can copy, paste between multiple cloud storage account. It also can use at your home centralized media sharing site. You can put all your media share folders into a list and you can access it using web dev function to mount it or to directly play with multimedia players which support web dev function. The last, I think it's the most powerful usage is uh, just you can use it to replace your NAS since you can use a RAID drive to mount it as your local drive. You can mount it a list app directly to your local and access it as a local drive. The performance would depending on your local network speed and your computer performance. We can look at the web dev function. So it's very simple, the URL. It was supported the most of online storage and cloud storage with list download, MKDIR, rename, move, copy, upload. In this video, I'm gonna just basically show you how to install it from Patainer and how to install in Windows, and then I show some basic usage. So now let's start it. Before we can start the installation at least using Patainer, I'm assuming you already have your own VPS. If you don't have, you can get the free VPS from my list video using Oracle Cloud Platform. Also, I'm also assuming you already installed Docker, Docker Compose, Patainer, and NPM, or need to be full functional so you can continue uh, this installation. If you want to skip this, you can go to the next section to do the Windows installation, which is much simpler. You can install on your local Windows. So now let's start the Patina installation. We're going to create a, a list docker and we're going to use a repository from the docker run command. We're going to publish our port 5244. Then we need to set up our restart policy. Let's put always. The most important part is put a volume. In that way, you can back up the data generated by a list and then you won't lose anything. If your Docker doesn't work, you can recreate it anytime with your data. So we're going to keep using same configuration as Docker run command. That's all set up. Deploy the container. So if you know your public IP, and uh, you have opened 5244 from your cloud provider, then you should be able to directly access to it. Let's quickly access to it. So I already have a public IP and also you know the port 5244. 
So it shows fail to get storage and nothing there. Um, so we need to log in, username and password, which you can get it from the logs. You can copy it to your notepad. We will not save the password for now. So we were able to log in. We were able to create a local storage at the in. As we did before. So we're going to put the loot folder. We're going to mount it um, local loot. And then we should be able to access to it. So right now there's nothing there. We also can add our Google Drive as we did that in previous video. So I'm just gonna quickly add that in. So basically we have two mounted drive right now. Our next step is to do is I'm gonna create it reverse proxy host from our npm and uh, we're gonna use our own domain to access to it. So in this way we're gonna create our uh, list plus so IPv4 will be our npm's public IP address. So I'm gonna use in a list public IP address so and then save it after that we're gonna here come back to MPN to create a proxy host we're gonna add this new domain in to our MPM the IP address port 5244 save it Right now it's HTTP, of course, we're going to use HTTPS. We're going to request a new SSL certificate. Agree to let encrypt terms of service. Save. Perfect. So we configured our MPM proxy for a list of 51 sector org. So now let's give it a try. Let's browse as a guest. So we want to log in. Now we can manage it again. So right now we are using a list of 51 sec org list custom domain name to access our uh, list map app. So there's a basic settings so you can have some announcement which you will get from the web page top right when you see visit the web page so we can change it a bit. Site title we're gonna change it to here is a pagination type so if you have lots of resources thousands files on the one folder you may want to choose pagination in this way they will generate in a page based on your settings here every 30 items or records in the page they will for each page they will have only 30 items so in that way the performance on the speed will be much better when loading the web page so we're gonna change that save it Let's go back to our home. So now it seems all looks good. We can try to create our new folder, create our new files. So you will get that from the right button, this small three dot icon. Click on it. You can create a new folder. Let's put that test folder here. And also, of course, you can upload file, new file, test.txt. And you also can 
preview it if you have anything in there. If you want to preview some document, video, audios, I have some example here, like office document. You can start from here. MP3. You can directly play with it. Or MP4. You also can directly play with it. So it's very powerful. If you don't have your own VPS, you still want to deploy it on your local machine, we also can do it. So let's go to next section using Windows to deploy your at least app on your local machine. I'm using a Windows 10 machine to deploy this at least program at my home environment. So basically, we just need to go to a GitHub page, go to release. latest version 3.6.0 go down you will see assets for the latest version there are 29 assets the one we are looking for is AMD 64 bit click on it you're gonna download it it's only 12 megabytes so we open a folder we gonna extract it all So you will see a list.exe file under that folder to make things easy. I'm gonna move it to a root folder. Now we need to get the command line. So you can directly type a list to get this um, help page which shows you all available commands. To start this, you will just at least server to run it as a server. Again, you may get this communications warning. So basically, for your firewall, private or public domains both need to allow access. So area two, we haven't do any configuration on it. That's another advanced feature provided by this software. You can use Area 2 to download or upload the folders or files. We have password shows up here. We also got this link. You can copy it and throw it into the browser. You may get this, cannot reach this page. Don't be scared by this error, just change it to local 12712 or local host. They're all same. So once you change it to local host, it automatically resolve it to the 127.0.0.1. So this is our typical uh, web page when you haven't done any configurations on your at least app. So we can log in using the admin account and the password we get from this command line output. Just copy, paste, login. So then we got into our management backend that so we can do like configurations like settings, size, style, preview, global, other tasks, or you can config your area 2 settings if you have area 2 configured in your local network or in your cloud. They also support a 2FA, also support multiple users. Um, first thing I think we can mount it um, local storages. We can add uh, local
mount path is a local C root. Go to the home folder. That's the local C drive. So then you will be able to see whole C drives. Again, once you log in, you should be able to create folder, upload files. There's a quite a few options you can do there. One thing I want to mention before I end this video is the um, users function. So by default, when people visit, it shows you the guest. By default, when people visit it, it will use guest permission to see all the files. If you want to hide it, your cloud mounted cloud drives, so you can change it, like guest, to only go to certain folders. So for example, you can only allow guest to go to at least Windows AMD folder. Save it. So we can go to the home folder. Right now, since we logged in, we can see everything. But if we log out, browse as a guest, go to home, we only will be able to see a subfolder from the C drive which we defined for our guest. There's more advanced feature waiting you to explore and also exploring it, find lots of interesting usage for this software. That's why I would like to share with you guys pretty much everything for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you found anything interesting, please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed this channel, please subscribe it to support me thank you for watching see you in my next episode